Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at leader class Dinobot Slug and Daniel Witwicky from the Transformer Studio Series 86 line from Hasbro. This line is so named because all of these characters are from the 1986 animated classic, Transformers the movie. So they all have the 86 designation and then you can see they kind of have like a sub designation. So he is 07, making him first in the second wave. But yeah, really cool, very excited for this one. You get of course uh, Slug here. Daniel, he gets some nice artwork of him in dino mode. Spin around to the side, same artwork. Over here on this side, same artwork again. Not really too much going on on the top or bottom. And then taking a look on the back, you have the robot mode, you have the dino mode, you have a little display stand, and then you have uh, Daniel squatting over here off to the side. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Uh, I got this from GameStop, if anyone's looking. I think he has since sold out. But I believe Hasbro is going to be shipping uh, their orders soon because I had him originally pre-ordered on Hasbro Pulse. And then when he popped up on GameStop, I bought it there and canceled the order. But I think there was like a, a label that said it was shipping soon before I canceled it. So it's very possible that they're finally getting their second wave of Studio Series 86 stuff. So be on the lookout for that because I think I did get an email about Rekgar shipping soon. So we'll see. But in any case, let's go ahead. Let's get this guy out of the box and let's take a closer look. So I just wanted to show Slug off with his little backdrop real quick. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one that Grimlock comes with because they were both in the same scene towards the end of the movie in the Quintesson Sharktacon pit, and that's what the backdrop is. So if you have the Grimlock one, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one, but still looks pretty good. So here's Slug and Daniel out of the packaging. We'll get Daniel out of the way because honestly there's not much to look at here. It's the same kind of figure as Wheelie was in this kind of squat position with very limited articulation. Basically, you have kind of a limited ball joint here where the arm connects to the shoulder cable. And then you have a ball joint here in the hip. And that's basically it. I mean, honestly, molded detailing wise, it looks pretty good. It's got a few paint applications, not too bad. And it does look like Daniel wearing the exosuit from the movie. But I just always find it funny whenever they do a human in an exosuit. They obviously don't really know how to tackle the human head. So they just don't give it one. They just paint that normally translucent dome just solid white. Now, I mean, they can't really paint a human face on here. I understand that. So they'd have to kind of mold a human head underneath and then put a translucent dome on top. And since it's just kind of a goofy little pack-in figure, they don't really want to go to that trouble. So you get what you get. It's an okay little figure, but I would much rather have more accessories for Slug, like his sword, and they could stop doing these. I mean, if we're going to get all five Dinobots eventually, they're going to run out of goofy little partners. And so I'm hoping that they'll just stop this and just give us more accessories or something like that. Because it's okay, but I don't need it. I didn't ask for it. I don't really want it. So maybe they could stop doing these. So we're just going to put him off to the side. Actually, I guess I should show off real quick. He can peg into the shoulder you can see he's got a little peg here on the back of his thigh and you can just peg him into this peg hole on the shoulder here so we'll just do this real quick to demonstrate this so there you go he can sit on the shoulder hooray i guess okay you're gonna put this off to the side now let's take a look at the main event slug he looks great really nice he's got a little bit of tail kibble here but it actually you know goes onto the back pretty well I love the wings that you can raise them up because that was a problem that the Power of the Primes slug had where they just kind of opened up and, and hung back here. You couldn't elevate them up to be wings like they should. This one takes care of that. You do have these pieces here which kind of move around a little bit on their own from time to time just handling the figure. But it's not a big deal. Head sculpt looks really good. And I believe the original toy had a black head with a red eye visor. But they went for a more cartoon accurate so they gave him this red head here. And you can kind of move this around. Now the way this works, if I open this up, this just kind of like floats here. It doesn't really snap into place, but it is on a ball joint on that gray piece of plastic here. So you can turn it side to side. You can do a little bit of tilt side to side as well, and a little bit of front to back. And then you just kind of close this up. So you kind of, you can move it around a little bit, but like kind of that, that gray piece moves around. And I wish that locked in place a little better. Um... But it's not a big deal, honestly. It stays in place when you need it to. So I think that works. You have nice ratchets here in the shoulder. Plus you have a hinge here. You have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees in the elbow. You do have a wrist swivel, which is also necessary for the transformation. You have a waist swivel here. Really tight ratchets in the hips. I mean, you guys can hear that. So front to back, out to the side hinge. You have a thigh swivel here. 
You kind of have double jointed knees, but that's really more for the transformation, but they are there. And then you do have an ankle tilt. So he's got a lot of great articulation. He looks really good. I'm really, really happy with this guy. Let me zoom out here a little bit. You can see he comes with his gun, which looks good. But again, I really wish all the Dinobots came with their gun and sword. That's something that they're definitely lacking. Speaking of which, here is Studio Series Grimlock. And these two look great together. Really loving these guys. Really cannot wait to get the whole team. Really, really, really loving the look of these. But they definitely need their swords. Neither of them have their swords. The guns look great. Don't get me wrong. I love the guns. But they really need their swords as well. I just really can't wait for a sludge to at least complete the original trio. Now I have a feeling that Swoop and Snarl are going to be maybe uh, Voyager class size. Which would kind of make sense because in the original cartoon these three were the same size because they were created at the same time. And then Snarl and Swoop were a little bit smaller. So if those two turn out to be Voyagers I think that would make sense. Maybe then they won't have to come with the goofy little partners. I don't know. But yeah these two look really great together. So I'm really excited to get Sludge to complete the, the original core trio at least. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's get to the transformation here. Okay, so to get into the transformation, I've taken the gun out of his hand and put it off to the side, but it will come back into play a little bit later on. So we're going to come around to the back, and this section here with the tail is going to kind of accordion out. And this is all going to kind of flip out like this, and I'll just kind of hang back there for a moment. We're going to start by uh, using where the ankle tilt goes to kind of make the foot go all the way down. We're going to flip up this little piece here. This section here is going to flip around, and this will eventually become the back dino leg. This is going to flip down and click into place, and then we'll bring this back up and click that into place. Repeat this step over here, so bring this down. This flips up, this flips around, back down, and then click that into place. At this point, we're going to spin the entire waist around 180 degrees, like so. Now we're going to kind of make like a Z with the legs. want to get the arms a little bit out of the way here. So we have to bring this all the way up. And then we're going to use the first joint to bring this all the way down like that. And then we're going to fold this around again like this. So we're going to basically just completely collapse the legs using all of the knee joints. Then you can see here that there's kind of a little slit right here and here and that's where uh, we're going to click the leg in so that's going to go in and then i have to kind of bring this in and then these will peg in there then we're going to bring this section down this kind of goes down like this this gold section here will kind of clip over top of these two kind of red nubbins right there and then this is going to come down and you can see that there is a tiny tab there and there and that's going to tab into this little slot right here and right, if you can actually see it. Well, I promise there's another one over there. So we're going to bring this down. This will kind of straighten out. You can kind of see how that kind of pushes in to get flat. This comes in. We want to spread the legs just a smidge so we can get this in here. And sometimes it can be a little difficult. It takes a little bit of finagling to kind of get this all to line up. It's kind of funny. It's not always that difficult, but it seems like every time I have to do this on camera, it gets difficult. All right, let me get this. I think when you have these lined up, it makes it a little easier. So this goes here like this. And then this needs to line up here. All right, I'm going to do this off camera, but I promise this eventually lines up. Okay, so once you have that all lined up and in place, the tail is going to come down and actually clip into the feet down here. And you can hear that just kind of really shores that all up and keeps that all together, which is really nice. Then we're going to come down to the middle section here, and this is where it gets really interesting. So you have the head up here. This comes down like so. This kind of will open up. These two uh, sections here will kind of pop out a little bit to the side and then this is going to come all the way up and you want to kind of push the head down and it'll kind of click into place there and then this is going to come up and become the actual bottom part of the dino mouth at this point we want to kind of bring these in you can see how there's two hinges if I zoom in here 
there's a hinge here and a hinge here. And so this is going to accordion in, which is a little bit easier said than done, just because it's kind of hard to get. Oh, actually, you have to bring these forward, otherwise they're going to be in the way. So this will kind of come in and shrink into the center section. So flip this up so it's out of the way, and then use those two hinges to rock this inside. There we go, that one went much easier. Then these will kind of fill in the area around the dyno head. And these will go in and tab together. If I can line this up, let me zoom out here a little bit. There we go. And then this will close up over top of these and kind of shore that all into place. And then these will click into place there. So we're pretty much done at this point. We can go ahead and close these up and they will kind of tab into place. And then the last step is going to be to rotate the fists around 180. Then they're just going to fold in to the dyno feet like so. So rotate that around, fold that down. And I'm sorry, there's one more step. We're going to actually pop out these dyno legs from the back here. So flip that around like so. Flip this around and flip this around like so. And then there you go. We have our Triceratops. And he looks pretty good. He's got some out to the side movement, basically whatever you had in the shoulder so you can kind of move forward and a little out to the side. You have the same bicep swivel. You have the same elbow swivel. Here you have a rotation and then you have a joint here and a joint here as well, obviously, because that's what was used to accordion it inside to have it collapse in on itself. Otherwise, not too much articulation, but honestly, a decent amount. Oh, I forgot, of course, we have to come back to the tail and bring that gun back in. And that pegs in here. And there you go. Now we have the completed Triceratops. And he looks pretty great. You can open and close the mouth. And of course, we have to do a comparison with Grimlock in dino mode. So we can get a look at our Dinobot team here. These guys look great. I really love the look of this. I think they look fantastic together. I think the gun storage works a little better for Slug than it does for Grimlock, but they do both have gun storage, which I appreciate. But yeah, these guys look great together. And like I said, I cannot wait to get Sludge. I wanted to show off real quick that you can have uh, Daniel ride Slug here. So he has these two little spots here on the back, and you just kind of basically stretch them out as wide as he can get and then pop them onto those, and then you can kind of push it back together, and it looks like he's riding on top. I mean, it's okay. Again, I don't really need this, but we have it. So it does have the functionality. I don't think he ever rode Slug during the movie, as far as I can remember. So not really sure why this was recreated here, but it's here, and it does it. I think Slug is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is definitely the best version of this character so far. It's an almost masterpiece quality figure, and I'm very excited to add it to the collection. I cannot wait for them to do Sludge and the others. I'm really enjoying the leader class Dinobots. I think it's the scale they were always meant to be done in. Because on the, the original cartoon, they were always a little bit larger than even Optimus Prime, and certainly some of the other characters. So I think this is the definitive scale. This is the definitive figure. I absolutely love them. The only complaint I have... I wish he came with his sword. It's a minor complaint, and I know a lot of people online are kind of making custom 3D prints of swords and accessories and things like that, so you could always supplement that way. We have the Daniel figure, and I don't need it. I, I don't hate it, but I would certainly sacrifice it for more accessories for Slug himself. I don't really understand this pairing. I feel like they never interacted in the, in the movie at all, so I don't really understand it. But whatever, I don't know if we're going to get a little goofy figure like this with every one of the Dinobots, only time will tell. But I feel like they're going to run out of, you know, smaller characters to pair them with. And it's just, it's just a weird pairing to me. I just don't really get it. But it's certainly not a hindrance to Slug. I mean, he's fantastic. You can just kind of throw Daniel off to the side if you don't care. And you still have an absolutely fantastic figure. Great paint applications, great detail, molding, you know, articulation. Everything about this guy is pretty perfect. And I cannot recommend him enough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.